I saw a video from a couple years ago where you were saying that like in order to break an artist, I think in the video, it, break an artist might have meant, uh, you know, getting on like a billboard chart, something significant, something like that. I think the number you had said a couple years ago to break an artist was 150 grand. Yes. Is, is have you seen even in two years, like you're saying, you know, nine months, everything kind of changes. And yep. since then, is the number more or less the same? Or no, it's the same. It's the same. Yeah. Um, and, and when I'm saying break an artist, I mean, get them to the point where there's money coming back into the company because it's going to cost you more than 150 to to build your career but that's 150 of new money so when the income comes back in and show money comes first merchandise um money comes next then publishing and streaming you know follow afterwards you're gonna have to put that money back into the company and keep spending money going forward so it takes me i don't know i can't speak for anybody else but it takes me 150 to get that artist to that point where there's money coming back in it's not necessarily to break them it doesn't mean they're going to spend 150 and now they're drake that's right. not what i'm saying yeah right <laughs> i well, i wish that was what I right think. well and i think that's a good point you said where like you had to you have to spend 150 to get to the point where money's coming in that doesn't mean you're done spending money no no so, like, this is a yeah. very expensive industry you can spend 750 or a million dollars to do this very easily. Like, where does the bulk of that money go? Um, for us, it goes to digital ads. We test everything. So we're testing things digitally. We're testing usually five songs at a time. And we test for two weeks. We spend about 200 bucks. But it tells me which song is going to do better than another song. So we're still putting out all the music but it tells me where where to spend that budget we're doing influencer marketing we're shooting content we're shooting videos our videos though are kind of like content it's still muse a music video but it's certainly not as elaborate as most other people do we spend about 500 dollars on music videos and then if the song starts to grow legs and really take off we'll shoot like a second video for it where we'll spend maybe a couple thousand or a few thousand dollars on it because it it's deserving of that. I don't want to spend $3,000 on a video and then it tanks. It doesn't do well. It doesn't make sense. Well, that's a really good strategy. I think both from the standpoint of, all right, I've got five singles. Let me test each one of these a little bit, see which yeah. you know, horse wins the race and then go more all in. Absolutely. On the yep. And and when that determines the budget. That whole 150 isn't spent on five songs. That 150 is spent over a year to a year and a half. So that 150 kind of fuels everything, you know, that that that's going along. So, but we're working like five or six songs at a time. So we're looking to see which of those are going to poke their head up, and then we'll spend a percentage. Like maybe the budget for those five songs is 30 grand. So two songs stand out i'm going to spend twenty thousand on, on two songs and mm -hmm. then the remaining ten thousand on the other three it just yeah. tells me where to best allocate my limited dollars right where the best return might be absolutely and mm -hmm. it hasn't been wrong yet i'm still watching it because you know everything at some point changes but right. for right now that works for us when you do that strategy with the music videos in similar kind of thing, you might make three, four or five videos and kind of see which song. Yes. Picks up. when you do make a second video, do you take down the original one? No, like, no, you just leave it up. No. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Cause it, it really looks like content. My, my early music videos, the ones we spent 500 on are usually the artist in just a bunch of different scenes, maybe two yeah. or three scenes rapping on a basketball court, rapping right. in front of an old school car and maybe in the trap with their boys behind them. So yeah. we're chopping them up to use, not only is it a music video for YouTube, but we're chop chopping them up and you're going to see it on shorts. You're going to see it on TikTok. You're going to see it on reels. You're going to see it on Instagram stories. You're going to see it on Instagram. You're going to see it on Facebook. You're going to see it all over the place. So that $500 that we're spending, I'm not pulling it down because it's content, but the right. music video, you know, we'd rename it something and, and um, I'm trying to think of a creative name right now and I'm not coming up with anything, but it might become, you know, the official music video yeah. in quotes.
you know, yeah. or it might be, you know, official music video 2.0. It'll be a little more creative, but that's the one that will really go balls to the wall with promotions and marketing because we know the song warrants having that bigger video. And then we'll market and promote that video, you know, as, as larger than life. Right. That's awesome. 